Tuesday morning, mm-hmm. and then he leaves on a usually on a Thursday afternoon, mm-hmm. and um, and then he takes all the work back over with him. He just periodically bo- fills his you know rig up his boxes, drives right? back and forth. He's in Ellensburg, which is a periodic oh, yeah, no, drive away. Nice town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Is he from there? And, and, and yeah. Johnny still does pretty much all the pattern work. With he the does dust. all the pattern work. He builds all the tools. He packs every single piece. And, and you never see him working. He's always standing around with a beer in his hand. <laughs> and he gets more done than anyone ever seen. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Yeah, that guy's a genius. Yeah, he's going to be coming over on Tuesday. He makes the pattern. Uh-huh. You get a he makes the stand. And he packs all the boxes. But whenever you see him, he's standing with the beer. <laughs> so how does he get all this done? <laughs>
pretty much almost everything is solid, which gives you more of a kind of, you know, you have these, well, you get kind of crust your surface. And then the overall matte, like you see that this yeah. black is sort of satiny, that's from the acid. It's real acid. No, it's not acid. It's not acid. It's not hydrochloric. Oh. It's that. Oh. Okay. Jack Frost stuff. Yeah, but what, is, what do they use it? It's not a... Is it a it up? Yeah. Hey, it's like a paste. Oh, yeah, yeah. It comes in yeah. five gallon buckets. Yeah, you just use oh, a, uh, like a spatula kitchen thing. You re you know, recycle or resettle it and all that sort of oh, stuff. Cool. So, yeah, it's pretty oh, cool. Oh, you got those. Someone no. told me it was. Okay. Yeah. So like the process, you know, obviously powder, some powder, and then stubble, and it goes in the box, and this and you and then the acid the acid happens after the cold. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And it's and what that'll do is what the advantage of that too is it, you know, we use so much torching and some of the colors are hypersensitive that usually cuts a lot of the carbon off, the mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't personally yeah. like trying to find yeah, that's that uh, 218 in there. Um. Yeah. Hey, Bill, how do you transport the uh, <coughs> sand paintings and the powder paintings? They're just on a metal plate. They go from one hot plate to another. Or oh, you said Bill did them off site. With uh, the sand, the sand drawings? Yeah. Well, they're just in, in uh, that Pike's office. We set that up for the drawing room. Okay. Yeah. So you set up the drawing plate and you said to put there. Yeah, he's got a drawing. He has a, a special table that sort of warms the plate to the right consistency, and then he gets a sand right consistency. Then he uses little pieces of, mostly he pushes the sand around with a piece of leather attached to a stick. And then he erased the work good for a while, but he realized the leather was the best thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all like black powder and red powder. No, it's black powder. The red, the red is the ground. So it's just a black, it's just a black design. Oh, Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Before I have to plan on making this series, does it evolve organically? It's all very, very evolved. Right? Mm -hmm. We're going to do this new series. Never. It's never happened. Haven't done it. Probably never will. But it's been books. Whatever seems to, you know, that change is getting on. How do you work in it? You find yourself at a different place. Yeah. 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 Ye
Right. And like, but now Karen, so she is their fabricating components that you then apply. Yeah, okay, exactly. You, Unless of course they're making a figure that. Um, sure. 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 You know that's that's that, like Karen did all these components, and then Tremaine Mason did the weaving in uh -huh. between. Uh huh. And um, and this was an idea for some wall hangings that we did, and Tremaine did this weaving on here. Right. Right. I like the horse hair. Is it horse hair or something? Yeah. 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 Well, you've come a long way. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs>
It's true. If you like carving marble or something, and something happens, you have to go with it. You can't. You can always get a new piece of marble. But, yeah. Well, but you know what I'm saying. If you break something off or something happens to it, you got to go with it and change it. <laughs> it's a lot of years. I mean, accumulatively, I mean, my God, it's been Johnny, he was only for like 27 years, and he was like 17, and he was for 14. It's so valuable. It's really cool. It's really cool. Rob, 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 yeah, he's actually one of the newer members on the crew. He's just, you know, he's just he's young, really super talented. Just he's a character. He's really great. It's amazing to hear you talk about this one. Plate uh, pickup, like a powder pickup. Mm -hmm. um, like, how big can you get that? Because a lot, there's a lot well, of big plates vary in size. I mean, I have a pretty big plate, but you got to realize that you're rolling it up like you'd roll ink on a brayer. So the diameter of your glass, I mean, it depends on how big you want it. The problem lies in if, it, you have, if it's too big um, and you have too much glass, by the time it blows out, you get too much distortion on, mm. on the image. And then secondly, just sheer tech, technical aspects, it just gets too heavy and too awkward. <clears throat> so is, is it like some of these are really, really intricate, like powder powder pickups, like... Mm -hmm. How long does it take to make one, uh, you know, the more complex, I well, mean, Johnny just a draw? Johnny doing a drawing, and then, you know, it depends on how much sculpting goes into a piece, it really slows us down. I mean, sometimes what we'll actually do on some of the bigger pieces is we'll do the drawings and pick it up and then make kind of a dumpy blank and actually put it in the oven and leave it there overnight. The reason is, is that some of these figure, figurative elements, like some of these torsos, from start to finish, it will take seven, eight hours to sculpt, mm -hmm. and you and, and you don't get a break. I mean, so you got to, you know, nobody can work that way straight yeah. through. So what you do is you do the first half, and you know you spend several hours getting the drawing on, and then sculpting out the rough aspect, and you put it in the oven, and you know you go, you either work on something else, you go home, and then you come back. And then you pick up your what you've done, and so you stretch it out over two days, and it's much more civilized. Otherwise, yeah. it's just you know it's you become <clears throat> exhausted. Is, is there pieces that you may, you might like drop or something, and yeah. and just make them make them to work for you, like, or do you usually like if you drop something like if do you, you have something a, pretty much? Yeah. Yeah. So that happens a lot. Yeah. Okay. Well, not a lot, but you know. Yeah. It happens too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's always too much when you drop something. <clears throat> Great. Thanks. Like a bird on the best song. See the chunk taken out of it? Oh, yeah. Is there any attention? Oh, yeah. I believe you. Yeah, they figure out how it's done. Like the one that's on the cover of the book, right? Yeah, yeah. The what, what, the what again? Uh, well, it's an interesting thing. I don't know if there's a copy of it up here. What we did, I knew I wanted that piece, so I actually made a, a small piece that I knew was the same color combination as that lip. So I took that and I put it in the beak of the bird when it was finished, and then I had Rick Cold work the oh, limb okay. out in the shape of the broken piece that was in there. Very oh, simple. oh, nice. How do you do those beads? Are they flame marked or? No, we just pull them and tumble them, just stock. Yeah. What's that? No, actually, this is made by the Museum of Resources. This guy's where I am. Well, it was, it was meant to be, but we're not going to use that. It's size of that. It's size of that. Yeah, it kind of is. Well, the question was, like, they had a chance to do Is there anything you could tell us about uh, Billy Morris? Remarkable, remarkable artist. Any uh, stories? Stories. Probably, probably the most natural I've ever seen with the material. I mean, I've, no, no. 
I mean, a natural ability that, I mean, it speaks for itself. It's really, really. No, I mean, but like stories between you and him and, you know, yeah. gossip. Uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna go there. Did you, okay. <laughs> oh, man, I was hoping to get uh, some. Uh, you know, and then he just soon branched out on his own, you know, and uh, the, the ethnic thing I find very interesting is that he's gotten involved with hmm. the kind of, the kind of question the world. Yeah. Like, well, he's like, what's his background? Native American? He, I, no, I think he, I think he's like a, I think he is about a quarter Mexican, actually. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, I think his, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, his, his, his mom definitely had some Mexican blood. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. But um, anyway, it's you know. I, so this, since first, he was like how old? What's that? When he first came to Colchak? Yeah. Right after he graduated from, um, um, I don't even really think he graduated. He came from Central Washington University. He first studied down in Chico, in um, you know, outside of Sacramento, mm. and um, then transferred oh. up here to Washington State uh, to uh, Central Washington University, and then uh, I went over and did a workshop and. Uh, you know, talking to the students about Phil Chuck, and he came to Phil Chuck as the truck driver the next year, and uh, the ball kind of started rolling. Wow, around. that's when he first started blowing glass. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. How, how old was he back then? I would guess 20, maybe 19, 20, 21. Uh -huh. well, definitely come a long way. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> really remarkable. I've never seen anybody with the command of the material the way. You know, and it's, and it's all pretty much stuff that he figures out on his own. Which, yeah. which makes it, you know, I mean, granted he learned a lot of stuff from the Italians, but also, you know, he has an assistant that, that's developed all these wild tools to go inside the bubble and push out. And, and this guy, and also this guy is remarkable with all the powders and dust. And that's mm. what creates all these remarkable surfaces. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty cool. Pretty amazing. So how many shows do you have up in Calvary right now? Uh, museums or galleries?